How's it going guys? Dave from Cruiser Cult. Today we are going to be installing our ALB or adaptive light brackets on the knuckles of our 60 series truck here. All right, so we are underneath the truck. We are looking at the passenger side um, knuckle. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting on a uh, ALB or an adaptive light bracket. Um, I've started by cleaning everything up and then starting to remove um, some of the knuckle wiper retainer hardware. Um, I'm gonna pull this last one out. There we go. And I'm gonna be running these in the down position. Um, they can actually be run either up or down. We need the, the corresponding side, but you can see that the bolt pattern will work for either. Um, what this means for me is that I think there's gonna be a poor light cut off and I'm not gonna get as much use out of the lights. So I'm gonna be running them in the down position um, which I'll put them right about here. Um, I'm going to be using, put in some of the supplied hardware here. And I went ahead and I recommend you guys put some kind of uh, thread locker on their medium strength thread locker, um, just to help retain the brackets a little bit more securely. These are 10 millimeter, which everybody has. Very common on these trucks. And there we are. Right, um, so I've got my light here. We'll have a link to the ones that we recommend. This is one um, that's a small two inch motorcycle fog light. Um, got my wiring, a weatherproof plug on the end I added, and I'm gonna be running the wiring up and over, kind of connecting to the brake lines and then up to the frame, trying to keep it neat and tidy as possible. Um, but this gives you a little bit of an idea of what the light will look like mounted. Um, there's gonna be some um, adjustment of the actual bracket itself, whether you want uh, to aim, you can adjust it slightly up or down. You can, uh, depending on how the, what lights you go with in the mounting pattern, um, you may move side to side. You may um, adjust the bracket up and down. If you have a, a light that comes with a, a, a set holder, um, you may be actually, um, instead of direct mounting it like I am, you may have some adjustability um, that we'll, we'll provide in there. So there's a lot of flexibility in terms of what type of light you're running and then also how to go about focusing and aiming them um, for your rig, whether it be completely stock um, and you're just looking for more lighting um, in low light situations, then not having a big huge light bar or lights on the top to keep that really stock look, um, or you want better lighting for crawling at night um, and you have some you know, massive um, truck with it's lifted and you've got these in the up position. That would be the other thing. If you're mounting them up here, um, you can still get, um, if you have high clearance front bumpers, you can still get a lot of light um, depending on how you aim them. So there's a lot of flexibility with the use of the brackets, um, depending on which, what, what your intended use and uh, what rig you have.